got a nice cloud bank this morning. It's cool. It's kind of moist a little bit, you know, just feels good. It feels good. All right, I'm saying goodbye to the camera. And uh, I got to get to the starting line. This is the USA 30K Trail Championships. There's some fast dudes here. 18 miles, 3,000 feet of climbing, and um, could be could be fun. I'm excited that it's not 32 miles. I just put it that way. I just... Oh, folks, <laughs> that didn't go so well. That's okay. Uh, my planter said no more. At about mile 10 today, it just said no more. I don't know how else to describe it other than like there's a sharp rock in your shoe right on your heel and every step you take it feels like you're hitting a sharp like rock in your foot. It doesn't feel good so I basically hobbled in, got fifth place, held on for fifth place. I was in fourth for the whole basically till like mile 14 and then a guy caught me. Good evening folks, welcome to the shed. If you're a regular viewer of this daily vlog, you've probably noticed the background is changing slowly. That's right, I emptied it out today. We're creating a little studio here in the shed. Cheers folks, and yes, you are in the correct place if you're here to learn about plantar fasciitis. First of all, how the heck do you spell plantar fasciitis? So if you're ever in a spelling bee, you're good. Plantar fasciitis, you got this. So let me preface by saying, this is important, that I am not a doctor, I don't have a white coat, I'm definitely not a podiatrist, I'm a runner. And that's why you saw footage this morning, literally, you know, eight hours ago, of me going to Colorado Springs for my home in Denver and running a race, the USA 30K Trail Championships. So what is plantar fasciitis? Basically, there's a band of I'll just say tendon, once again, I'm not a doctor, but like a tendon that runs from your heel bone to your toes. And that, that band can become taut or tight. And then it starts to pull on your heel bone. And that's where the inflammation can flare up and become very, very uncomfortable. And what is the symptom that is most prevalent with plantar fasciitis? It's basically like a stabbing pain in your heel bone. And it doesn't feel good. And like I said this morning, it was like a rock was in my shoe the last eight miles of the race. I almost stopped and just quit. But I was like, no, I gotta finish. And I'm glad I did. Uh, but it does not feel good sometimes, as probably many of you can relate to. So, what are my top three secrets for getting rid of plantar fasciitis? So for these three steps to get rid of plantar fasciitis, definitely, you know, talk to your doctor, talk to your podiatrist, uh, talk to a medical professional. Once again, I'm just talking from experience as a runner, and this is what has worked for me. And so step one, you ready? It's simple, and I know this is, I don't hear this very often actually, when I'm researching plantar relief and watching other YouTube videos from doctors, but like right now, my foot hurts really bad. Uh, like just sitting right here right now talking to you, like it's throbbing a little bit. It feels like I, it feels almost numb right at my heel bone. And why is that? It's because that band is, is inflamed. It's swollen. It's, uh, it's, it's larger than it should be. It's screaming at me right now. And so what I do is ice. That's right. Simple, simple, but I don't hear this very often. But when, you're, when your planter is really, really, really not happy at the beginning of your treatment cycle, you gotta bring that inflammation down. You gotta freeze it. You gotta chill it off a little bit and let it chill out. And so I ice. And so usually what I do is 10 minutes on, five minutes off, 10 minutes on, five minutes off, and I'll do that three times. So it takes, what if I'm doing the math right, 45 minutes. And at the end of it, it feels, it feels like I can actually walk across my house again. Does that make sense? So ice is step number one. Step number two is definitely my favorite step in treating plantar fasciitis on my own, and that is with massage. However, there now that you can go pay someone, someone, you know, 50 bucks an hour or 100 bucks an hour, whatever it is, to work on your tendon and work on your Achilles, and that's all good, that's good. Uh, but I have found that a highlighter marker is just as good. And here's why. I'm gonna show you on the camera right now, 
basically you put this marker on the floor, on the ground, sometimes on a carpet might be a little easier at first so it doesn't slip away from you, but some people recommend using a golf ball, some people recommend standing on a baseball, some people recommend standing on a rolling pin from your kitchen, but I don't think it's good enough. I like to dig in to that planter muscle to basically what you're trying to do is to stretch it out and stretch out that tautness that is in the band stretch out that tightness and i have found that it, truly like i'm not even kidding like this thing you can dig in and it's better in my opinion than a ball because it's easier to stand on and basically over time you can put all your weight onto this marker and roll your foot back and forth from the, the back of your heel all the way down your arch and just kind of stretch it out. And so I'll do that for two minutes on, one minute off, two minutes on, one minute off, and I'll do that three times, three times a day. So a total of nine times a day for two minutes in each interval. Does that make sense? It is amazing. And I, I can't wait to do it once I stop this video. So the third and final step and secret that I do for dealing with plantar fasciitis is this compression sock from a company called Features. Here's the spelling. So this is a plantar fasciitis compression sock and you can wear this underneath your regular socks and because there's no toes up here, it just looks just like this. And basically it, it gives your foot a little more arch support. And I'm telling you, after two or three days of wearing this straight all the time when you're awake, I'm t it, it helps so much. Uh, I was not a believer, but three years ago when I had planter, I, I bought this sock. Now they're not cheap. You can buy it down below from Amazon. You just use that link down below this video in the description. And I believe they're around like 25 bucks ish for just this sock. And it helps so, so much. Just walk all day, every day until your planter is totally gone. And it just gives your foot a little compression and a little more uh, blood flow to your foot because it's compressed and a little more arch support. I love this thing. Again, you can find it down below. So for all the regular vlog viewers out there, I know you're out there and you're like, what is Seth doing today? He's like talking about his foot all this entire vlog. And like, I know, I know, but this is real life. Uh, this is what this channel is all about, is communicating real life to you. And as a runner who loves running, occasionally I have issues. And we all have issues in this world, right? We all have health issues. Hopefully so they're kept to a minimum as much as possible. But like, listen, we're, we have to play the cards we are dealt in this world, right? And so my card, one of my cards that I've been dealt physically is plantar fasciitis. And so hopefully some of these tips, the ice, the... <laughs> the highlighter marker, and the uh, compression sock. Those three things, hopefully those three things help you guys. And lastly, this is a overall standard thing, is flexibility and stretching. That's to go without saying, like you gotta stretch your hamstrings, starting from your, your buttocks, to your hamstrings, to your calf muscles, to your soleus, all the way down to your foot muscles. Like, you gotta work on the strength and, and flexibility of all of that. So. Love you guys. That is today's vlog. The race did not turn out like I had hoped, and that's okay, because guess what? The sun will rise tomorrow. I have faith that my foot will feel quite a bit better in the morning, and then the next day, and the next day, but do not let me run over the next five days. Hold me accountable. I'm taking at least five days off, so that would be Thursday, Friday, that I'll be back to running. Maybe, maybe. We'll just see how the planter's doing. See, beauty. Work hard, love each other, now go ice. See you tomorrow.